In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a module self-test. Module self-test can be done on pretty much any of our fully sealed modules, which includes our billboard series displays, Galaxy Pro GP3 series, and even our full video DVX and DVN series. This particular display I'm going to be working on is our 10 millimeter display. To begin, go ahead and remove the module that you need to do the self-test on. So you can see on the back of this module, I have two ports here that the signal is coming into and out of. I'm going to disconnect the cables that are there, as well as disconnect the power. I have a spare SATA cable that I can use for the test. If you don't have a spare, you can certainly use one of the ones that you removed. But basically, you need to loop the two SATA ports together. Once you've got the two SATA ports hooked together, go ahead and reapply power to the module. I'll go ahead and temporarily secure this module. What we can see here when it boots up into test mode is that it starts out by showing all the different colors and you're testing for any failed LEDs at this point. Now while it's showing these colors, it's also running its self-diagnostics in the background, checking for any failures on the module. And we can see that this module passed all of its self-test diagnostics by showing a PA. It's then going to show the operating temperature of that module in the degrees Celsius. Don't be concerned with the actual temperature. Just look at the background color. If it's that greenish background color, that means it's good. If it's red, that means it's hot. And then it shows you ports A and B. Now I'll show you what a failed test pattern would look like. Now instead of showing a PA for pass, it's going to show a two-digit code on four different frames. This is our error message, 6-0 right here. It'll continue and show the rest of the information. At this point, I could call the customer service help desk, give them that code, and see if this is something I could resolve. <laughs> 